your postman presentation. So some of you have asked me questions um, today during office hours, but um, I've updated the postman um, assignment a little bit, and I want to go over it and to basically um, explain the assignment uh, a little bit better to you if you're still unclear. And next week, you will have chance to ask more questions about the content or about the target article by a new postman. But basically here, I want to go over some items that will definitely help you write um, the, your assignment and basically create uh, a good presentation. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to share my screen with you. Okay, so I've posted a news, item, a news item about the Postman presentation already here. And, uh, but I have also uh, promised you a short video on the assignment um, slash presentation. So that is why I am recording it for you now. So under content, you will find the assignment and here, Assignment number one is due relatively soon. And after that, the postman presentation is, is due. So if you go to the assignment, So you know by now that you have to get into groups and uh, make sure you get into the groups. The groups are under communications and some groups are filling up pretty quickly for specific technologies. And so if you haven't signed up, then please do as soon as possible. Once you sign up for a group, then, um, then you are responsible for contacting the students that are in your group. And you can find students' names and last names and emails under class list on eCentennial. You can communicate via email or you can exchange phone numbers and you can do it over uh, whatever it is, Signal or WhatsApp or whatever platform you are comfortable with. Um, I also recommend using Google Docs where you can basically share um, Google Docs is an online platform, you probably know about it, where you can share documents, you can upload documents, you can upload work uh, together into one shared uh, uh, virtual space. And this might be also a good way of um, tracking progress in your, in your work. Okay, so here in terms of delivering in terms of putting together the, the presentation, let me just make this a bit smaller. I say either you will be delivering your presentation as a virtual presentation using voiceover narrated PowerPoint slides or a Prezi, that's one option or one option under option A. So each member of your group needs to record his or her voice on slides uh, or slide. If you have any difficulties, please contact me. And the option, the other option I think is equally good or and even better is here are some tips from previous presentations uh, done by my previous students and where you can, you record your PowerPoints, you build, you write your PowerPoints with um, text and pictures and uh, whatever it is that you decide to do, that's up to you. And then you turn it into a, a, a video presentation where you upload it to YouTube. And then you just send me the link and I watch it. So here are relatively simple instructions. So please follow this. And here underneath you have a rubric. 
marking rubric that I will be using to assess your your work. So you are for each um, idea that's in Postman's article, the 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 target article is called five things to know about technological change. And uh, since there are five ideas, since Postman divides his work into five ideas, then uh, it makes sense for you to have five members in your groups. And so each member is responsible for covering and analyzing one idea. So this rubric applies to every student and every each individual each idea that is so you are responsible for explaining the idea so for example the first idea that new postman spells out is that uh, technology um, technology creates uh, gives and takes in other words technology creates advantages and disadvantages immediately as it is created and um, this uh, and shared in in public or in, in in life with many other people so so explaining the idea that's that's your first task and and then the second task is to take that idea let's say idea number one technology gives and takes you explain what that means you can by by use of a simple example and then you apply it to the technology of your choice, the, basically the technology that you have signed up for in your groups. So whether it's self-driving cars or uh, AI technology like Siri or Watson or Google, or whether it's um, uh, pharmaceutical technology like um, oxycodone or fentanyl or um, robotics, whatever it is that you're doing, Okay, you need to apply this technology uh, with the use of the five ideas that Neil Postman spells out in his article. And of course, the overall delivery, uh, how well you deliver your material, that is how well you explain your material and the, the format of your presentation. Also make sure that you proofread your work. Okay, make sure you proofread each other's work, make sure before you submit the final file or copy, make sure uh, that your work is proofread uh, to the best of your abilities, okay? And then submit only one file into the Dropbox, the Dropbox that's designated for the assignment. So I don't want you to separately uh, submit assign uh, different pieces of the assignment or different recordings or different PowerPoints of the assignment because that's just going to uh, be all over the place and your assignment will be basically be in pieces and i'll have to fetch around look in the look for it in the dropbox uh, so that's that's basically um, no good and so what you need to do is you need to create one file one document with all the names and last names of um, all your group members who was responsible for which idea and then um, with references and then submit one copy into the required or designated Dropbox. Okay, so make sure you go over this document carefully. If you have any questions, and of course, email me or see me during office hours. Okay, so again, the, the target article is five things to know about technological change by Neil Postman. And this you will find under week three on eCentennial. Okay, so if you go to technology and ethics, we start with Neil Postman because I think Neil Postman has, uh, well, there's an introduction to to technology, the, the beginnings of modern and post-industrial and modern technology, how ethics is related to it, and Postman's critique of technology. I think Postman's critique of technology is quite mature and astute, and that's why we are studying it. It's, I think it's quite relevant, not only for the purposes of this class, but also uh, in your lives personally. Now here you have additional information. Okay, here's five, 
five ideas about technological change by Neil Postman. Um, here you will find explanations, um, video commentaries, also video commentaries or lectures by Neil Postman. Okay, so you are responsible for to go over this information. If whatever is here is not clear, then um, please, of course, use office hours or email to to run ideas by me. Um, and if the if you require additional clarifications. Again, the target article is here. Okay, five things we need to know about technological change. This was given, this was delivered as a lecture in 98, and, but it is, it is very relevant. It is relevant really to any technology. I suggest you read it over twice. You will not understand everything right away. But if you don't understand something, there are certain words that you don't understand, then look them up, okay? So again, idea number one, in short, is um, that technology creates winners and losers. Sorry, that's idea number two. Idea number one is that technology, technological change is a trade-off, okay? It creates uh, advantages and disadvantages immediately, okay? Idea number two is, is that technology, technological change or advancement, the consequences or the benefits of technological change or advancement are not distributed in our society equally. Okay, some become winners and some become losers of specific technology, okay? Idea number three is um, that each technology, behind each technology or with each technology, there is one or two powerful, there is or there are one or two powerful ideas or philosophies. So for example, you know, when you look at social media, what is the, what is the most powerful idea behind social media such as Facebook and Instagram? Well, it is for you to think about once you read this, but I'll give you a tip. Without human involvement and uh, without human interaction and constant posting and sharing information, applications or technologies like uh, Instagram and Facebook basically cease to exist. They no longer have any power, okay? To use a different example, um, the power, powerful, the, one of the powerful ideas behind creating a book or maybe a pen is to read and the other one is to write. And of course that has specific, that has specific consequences in our technology. And of course, with the tools of writing and reading and social media or driving cars or flying planes or um, creating banks, uh, either virtual or brick and mortar banks, immediately, uh, almost immediately, I should say, creates winners and losers so that in our society, so that uh, specific people will benefit very quickly from specific technologies such as the ones that I have mentioned. And some people will, uh, will lose out, will be the losers, okay? So here I want you to think about what is the point? What is the philosophy behind the the technology, what, is this, what does this technology want? What is it designed to do at its most basic uh, level? Idea number four is that technology is additive. And sorry, that technology is not additive, but ecological. So that technological change is not just an addition to our life, but it is ecological so that it's really part of our life. It's, it's within the ecology of our personal and uh, of our personal life and, uh, and whatever, and so within our personal life and then 
in whatever way our life extends outward into society. So, you know, simple examples are the computer that I'm using right now or your cell phone on, or books, the technology of basically creating, you know, writing books or printing books or, um, um, or transferring information into book form, that is. Uh, technologies, uh, such technologies are basically uh, part of our lives. and They are not just addition, but they are basically part and parcel of everything that we do. Okay, so now my work basically involves the computer on a regular basis. So I get up in the morning and I check, I open the computer, I check my mailbox, I, I, um, I communicate with my students and my coworkers and my uh, bosses through the computer so the computer becomes an intricate part of my life kind of like a sibling or a mother or a father or the stove or the fridge okay again those are all additional examples of technologies uh, with which we live on daily basis so this is what neil postman means they're not just additions it's my life and the computer no it's my life with the computer it's my life with the cell phone as you can as you can see in your own um, daily lives, how important it is or how uh, influential or indispensable it has become. Although, of course, it's, uh, it's indispensable because of the way we use it, uh, the way we have gotten used to it. It's also a habit forming, but it is not necessary for your life or happiness for you to have a cell phone. So those are two different things, um, but that's what Neil Postman means by ecological, not additive. And the fifth idea is that technology becomes mythic. It becomes, and what he mean, means by mythic, he doesn't mean mythology, but he means that it becomes part of our life so that we think that certain technology like computers or cell phones for some generations or uh, a watch or a refrigerator or a stove or a car have been here for, um, for many years. When this happens, people think that technology has been here from the beginning of time. They forget that technology has been created once there was a time when such technology, let's say, like airplanes or cars or cell phones or computers never existed but because we have gotten used to such technologies and we use them on daily basis they become second nature really we think that they are as natural as trees or the sky or the sun or whatever it may be that we come across in in um, in everyday life or in the natural order of things all right, so that's basically the five ideas in, in, in a nutshell. You are required to read over this document in order to understand better. New Postman provides good examples. And like I said, there are additional links and uh, there's, there's additional content, commentary content on this target, target article that you should uh, go over and study so that you're well prepared to do your presentations. Okay, I think that's basically it. Now, when you, so I will stop sharing. Mm, sorry, I turned on a bit more light because it was getting dark. Um, all right, so that's basically it for your postman, new postman assignment. A couple more tips. When you do the PowerPoint slides, uh, you don't need to put a lot of text. All I need is just very basic information and for you to explain it. You can use pictures, you can use one word, you can use two words, you can use a short sentence, but don't, don't uh, overpopulate your slides. That's not necessary. What I need is for you to you know basically put down idea number one technology creates or idea number two technology creates winners and losers 
or you know technology idea number four technology is according to neil postman is um, technological change is ecological as opposed to additive and i want you to explain it okay please don't put big chunks of text from the target article or from the commentaries and then just read it to me okay that's not a presentation you need to learn the present you need to learn the information and then put it in in your own words once you learn it trust yourself and i'm sure you'll be you will be able to explain the information and uh, perform um, the the analysis in a, in a proper uh, proper manner so please don't again don't put uh, fat chunks of uh, of text whole paragraphs and just read them if you need to quote if you if you want to quote new postman then just make make sure it's just you know a few words one sentence and then explain what it means give an example what it means okay so i want to see a presentation not just you reading uh, from text without explaining it without um, you know putting in your own ideas and your own interpretations okay because that is basically what i'm looking for for you to explain the ideas apply them to your technology and then deliver them in a clear and uh, logical manner also make sure you proofread your work i think i've mentioned this but again make sure you proofread your work go over your work look at your work read your work listen to your work and if uh, so that when you deliver your final product it is as as good as it can be and once you are happy with your work or you no longer have time to do anything better then submit it and uh, and then it's out of your hands and it's in my hands okay i think that's it for now so now it is to you you need to get you need to do quite a bit of your, quite a bit of work and again if you need additional clarification or, or help make sure you come to office hours and uh, or email me okay that's it for now thank you and take care